Hey everybody, Kplum Games here, and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Red Randomizer Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we went down Cycling Road and we fought a whole lot of trainers. And this time around, we're actually going to go on a bit of a catching spree before we explore Fuchsia City. So, down here, this little patch of grass, this little area here, is actually considered a route. These trainers are distinct from the trainers on Cycling Route, Road, rather. I was about to say route, if you couldn't tell. Damn, the English is hitting me hard. Hey, it's a preschooler! <laughs> um, but yeah, so there's actually a few routes that we can do some Pokemon catching at. This being one of them, this little patch of grass is considered a route. Cycling Road, we can catch a Pokemon. Uh, we can catch one as well in the area that is east of Celadon, that little patch of grass there. I've been saying for episodes now that I have to double check if that's a different route, but it turns out that it is and that we could have caught something there a long time ago. So we actually have a few encounters that we could be doing right now. Um, I had to check the town map for this information in between episodes, but luckily it turns out that we are in the clear to do some Pokemon catching, which is very, very fun. And Chulip is at level 38, that's kind of wild. Now there are a few trainers here that we might as well clear out. We're not going to be doing a whole lot of battling this time around probably, aside from just clearing out trainers um, in this route. But like aside from that, I doubt we're going to be doing much else training. We're just going to be catching some Pokemon and then doing a lot of like city exploration in this time around. So it might be a little bit of a more slow paced episode, but after a lot of the episodes we've been having with a lot of like important things going down, I, I actually think that's very pleasant to have. Ooh, we got a freeze. How often do you see a Ice Punch actually freezing? Oh god. The return of the dreaded Google alert. Holy crap. Okay, let me cut and we will put another obligatory black bar. Jesus. Okay, obligatory black bar has been put, thankfully. Um, and yeah, that Google alert is getting a little bit annoying. For whatever reason, it likes to go off at the most inopportune of times, but hey. Tis the world we live in! <laughs> it's always at the start of episodes too, the Google alert. My battery alert was at the end of an episode, so I'm not really looking at that. But the Google alerts, they all seem to be at the beginning of episodes. It turns out that the obligatory black bar is something that we're going to be dealing with throughout the series. Which I'm okay with, it's fine. <laughs> uh... It's alright. I'm pretty sure that happened to me once in Mother 3 when I was recording and I made a big deal out of it. I was like, oh no, how am I going to edit around this? I don't know. And that's back when I was like super prim and proper about my editing and making everything look seamless and perfect. And now it's just kind of like, ah, my editing's rough around the edges. It's fine. Nobody cares that much. It's not that deep, bro. Like, I truly think that that's the right approach to have, but, you know, to each their own, I guess. Um, let's put, I guess, Brussels out front. Why not? Switch to Brussels. I mean, like, there's no real way to make videos. Like, how you commentate and how you make your own videos, it's really up to your discretion. I do like a lot of very informative, very prim and proper videos, but I do like a lot of unhinged content as well. It really just depends on like what I'm looking for at that particular moment. So, you know, make whatever content you want to make if you're like interested in becoming a content creator. Don't conform to what you think is going to get you views and stuff because like I have not figured out how to get views at this point, but uh, I, I do it for fun. I do it for me. I don't do it for views, you know? I have tried the prim and proper videos, and I have enjoyed making those, don't get me wrong. Like, my Mother 3 franchise, which has been, like, just a very good series, very informative. I 
like with a lot of research and work put into it. I think that's a really good series in its own right. But in terms of like level of enjoyment recording stuff, I feel like I have a lot more fun recording Pokemon. And all of the videos I record are fun, don't get me wrong, but recording the series is just a friggin' blast for me. You know, I play a lot of Pokemon, or I did, on my own time. Also, this is duped, so we cannot catch it. But like, I played a lot of Pokemon on my own time, and it's always been like a fun little game to distract me, but I thought about what if I recorded that chaos? Hey! Dodrio, that's actually a pretty cool Pokemon. I thought about like what would happen if I recorded that chaos and uh, hey look, that's that's where we are now. Recording that chaos, putting it on YouTube and uh, letting the world see the unhingedness of it all. I do not know if I feel comfortable trying to quick attack. I feel like that might accidentally kill it. I'm going to confuse it with lock and hope that it will hit itself a few times. And after I confuse it, I'm going to go into Brussel and try to leech seed it and hope that it can hurt itself. Yes, good, good, good. Now we're gonna go to Bulbus, not Brussel. I made that mistake when I was speaking. Hit yourself. Okay, use Peck, that's fine. But we're gonna leech seed you. Good. Hit yourself. Ooh, fully paralyzed, that works too. Uh, we're gonna switch back to lock. We have to be strategic about how we do this because I feel like a lot of Pokemon at this point, they're very frail, so I don't want to risk attacking them if I can help it. If I can just whittle them down slowly by using like status moves, then that I think is the way to go. Dojo is confused and it managed to get through the Parafusion. Also, I haven't really talked a lot about status, but Parafusion is a very good strategy for kind of debilitating Pokemon. Um, because the Paralysis- the Paralysis, I said that funny. The Paralysis, um, it stops their chance of attacking by 50%, but the Confusion also stops their chance of attacking by 50%. So it ends up being like, don't hit yourself. I think you just killed yourself. Yeah, we just killed that Dodrio by accident because it hit itself too many times. Okay, this is going great. I, I love this game. Dodrio would have been a good Pokemon to have, but um, I guess we can't have nice things now, can we? <sighs> I love Pokemon so much! Anyways... Uh, what was I even saying? I completely lost my train of thought with that silliness. God, I was like boasting about how good I was at the game. But also, I was throwing Great Balls! Why were those doing nothing? I feel like Great Balls should have been working better than they did. <sighs> oh my god, <sighs> I feel so gross about that. We should not have had a hard time catching that. Oh, hey Ashley, we already have one of you. Oh god. I feel like I'm not doing terribly, but like then these encounters happen and I feel silly like a billy. It's never dupes. Could I get another chance at uh, Dodrio, please? Or like some other Pokemon that I could get a chance at? Let's see. That's another dupes! What the frig? I already have all these Pokemon! I always seem to feel the Pokemon though that like I would actually genuinely be excited about using. Like an Alakazam and a Dodrio, those are like really fun Gen 1 Pokemon. Ooh, Rhydon! Rhydon is a freaking cool Pokemon that I cannot paralyze. We're gonna have to go to lock. Wait, do I even have sleep on you anymore? I don't think so. I think I have sleep on uh, Ashley. Yeah, Rhydon is a really cool Pokemon. 
I... I... Mm, I love Serpentine. I really love Serpentine. But... I might... Uh, I'm gonna have to see what Rhydon can learn. And then we will make... A educated... Decision on whether to swap it out. That is assuming that I can catch it, because... There's a chance that I don't. And... That would be very unfortunate <laughs> if that were to occur. Uh, defense fell, that's fine. Confuse Ray. Parafusion. Now we have to be really careful about this, but I thought I was being careful last time, and I guess I wasn't. Like, uh that was so frustrating, that battle. I feel like I got unlucky with the catching not happening, and with the... Uh, God, I... Hmm. I don't really know what I could have done to improve that battle. I feel like I played it as well as I could have. Maybe I shouldn't have confused it a second time. But it only died because it got least seated and confused like it hit itself twice in a row. So, I don't know. Come on, right on. Oh my god, dude! Why? Why are these Pokemon not wanting to get caught today? What the frig? I guess we'll try a Pokeball. No. No. And I have to switch out because you've tail whipped me twice and I don't trust things. Actually, I can't switch out because I have to use turns trying to catch you. If I waste turns, it's not good. Thank you. Thank you, Rhydon. Thank you for just being nice to me. Drill. <laughs> oh, I guess we'll just name you. <laughs> I'm, you know, we have Drill Me in the PC. I'm gonna have, uh, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna name you something that is very much an innuendo. But I do not care. I think this will fit. It will fit, but I have to omit a space between the mister and the... This. Mr. Driller! Mr. Driller was transferred to the PC. I'm sure he was. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This episode is going by so fast! I thought that we were going to catch these Pokemon quick and that we were going to be able to explore Fuchsia very, you know, with the rest of the episode. But we are spending a lot of time going back and backtracking and trying to get these Pokemon. Jesus. I mean, we're still going to explore a little bit of Fuchsia this time around, but I don't know if we'll get to the full city. Which makes me upset because I want to explore the city this time around. Oh well. Uh, we do have another Pokemon to get here. Please be something good. I already have that. <laughs> why does Dupes Claws hate me? I don't. I don't understand why we're getting Dupes Claws so much. I mean, I guess it's because there's only 151 of these damn suckers in the game. But seriously, oh my God, another Rock Ground type. It's a Golem. And I can't paralyze you, just like the last time. Um... Bulbas! Bulbas, what do you got? Uh, poison powder. Not the best. Oh my gosh, I just had a yawny poo. I don't know why I'm tired. Golem, I believe, gets Earthquake um, in this gen, in this game. Which is really good, getting a Nat Earthquake, because not many things learn it naturally, I don't believe. And yeah, Tackle doesn't really do a whole lot. I'm going to head into Jinx eventually to put it to sleep, I think. I don't think I'm going to bother with the sleep with this one. Oh, you know what I realized? You might have Explosion. I did not consider that possibility. I believe it might be a good idea to go to 
Ashley, no, because you have 59 health. Lock, lock, you're the one. You're the one, baby girl. Tackle, ain't gonna do a whole lot. I would confuse it because, but we saw where that got me last time. I honestly feel like it's just our best bet to just Pokeball and hope for the best. But what the frick, you missed the Pokemon? Oh my god, I forgot that was a thing in Gen 1. That's so dumb. What the frick? Oh my god, Gen 1 has a mechanic where you can actually miss the Pokemon if you have like such low shots of catching it. I forgot that that was even a thing in the game. But uh, huh. it is. And we did hit the- okay, it does have self-destruct, I was right. Well... Cool! We failed two encounters this episode. I love that for us. We are Pokemon Masters, clearly. Um, we are very good at this game, clearly. <laughs> okay, fine, cool, love it, love this game. I'm not being facetious, I do love this game, but damn, do some of these encounters make me so frustrated at times. I am going to cut to Fuchsia City so that we get more time exploring the city. I will see you guys there. You know what I realized as soon as I got here? I could have just flied with Serpentine because we already went to the Pokemon Center here. But um, my brain unfortunately worked too late because I was already here uh, once we made it here. Uh, once I followed the idea rather. It's okay, not a big deal. Anyways, let's start exploring. We have a lot of things to do here. Safari Zone's warden is old but still active. All his teeth are false though. Bill files his own Pokemon data on his PC. Did he show you? Did we talk to Bill yet? Was Bill the one that gave us the SSN ticket? I forget. Hmm, you met Bill? He's my grandson. He always liked collecting things, even as a child. Yeah, Bill was the one that was a Pokemon that turned into a human. He was a odd fellow, to say the least. Um, but yes, if we head south, there is a route there and there are some trainers to fight. But it just leads to a coast, like, um, at least to a beach, rather. So, we could probably do an encounter there, but we need to get, like, a better rod, probably. Let's talk to you. I'm the fishing guru's older brother! I simply love fishing! Do you like the fish? And, just as I say, we get the good rod. Nice. Uh, we can put the old rod in detention now. It could go into the PC, never to be returned. Is there not a item here? I could have sworn there was a rare candy in this patch of yard somewhere. But I might be mistaken, as I tend to be. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's anything here. Oh, freaking well. That is quite unfortunate for me. Anything here? Oh, right. I think we get a gift Pokemon here, don't we? I don't even know what language that was. It sounded very Neanderthalian to me, but um, it could be a language. I I just can't decipher which one it is, to be honest. Uh, we do have to deposit a Pokemon, but I do believe that we will get a gift Pokemon if we go there, which is very, very nice, to be honest with you. Pokemon Center! We are going to put away a Pokemon. And it's going to be Bill's PC. Deposit. Uh, just for now, Tulip will deposit you, but you're definitely going to be coming back after we get whatever this is. And let's just see, let's just see with our eyeballs what we might be getting as a gift Pokemon. Normally it's a Lapras, but uh, we already have luck, so hopefully it randomizes something else. Ah, holy Oh, this was not the gift Pokemon. Pokemon photos and fossils. I see, I see, I see. Um, 
And let's just go on then. Safari Zone has a zoo in front of the entrance. Outback is a safari game for catching Pokemon. Safari Zone is definitely something we're going to be taking care of. I don't know if we're going to do it this episode though. Where's Sarah? I said I meet her here. Uh, I think your friend ditched you, honestly. I'm sorry to tell you that, but it seems that to be the case. That item ball in there is really a Pokemon. Oh yeah, it's an Electrode or a Voltorb rather. Very cool, very cool. Name Lapras, aka the King of the Sea. We already have one, but cool that they give us the dex entry for that. Did you try the Safari game? Some Pokemon can only be caught there. Interesting. Let's head into the Mart. Uh, talk to these folks. Do you try XP to speed up a Pokemon in battle? I've not tried one because a lot of my Pokemon naturally have speed. Um, we could catch a Pokemon in the Safari Zone by... Ooh, Ultra Balls are good. We're going to get 10 of those. Thank you. I'm not going to bother with Great Balls anymore. Great Balls are freaking annoying. They have not served me well. So... They could go suck a onyx. <laughs> I don't even know. Um, I'm sure that some of you get that and you end up. It's fine. Uh, anything over here? No, 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 no. Okay, fine. <laughs> Have it your way. Do we not get the gift Pokemon until after we do the Safari Zone? That might be it, or else we might get it here. We nicknamed the Warden Slowpoke. He and Slowpoke both look vacant. Wow, that's harsh, dude. Slowpoke is very knowledgeable about Pokemon. He even has some fossils of rare extinct Pokemon. All right, interesting. Slowpoke came in, but I couldn't understand him. I think he's got a speech problem. Damn. These guys are savages. That's so freaking rude, dude. I am going to go check out the Safari Zone, I think. Because there's no trainers in there, so I'm not going to bother getting back Tulip at the exact moment. But yeah, we are going to go check out the Safari Zone. I do think we have enough time for it this episode. And if this episode ends up going a little bit longer, then I think that's fine. Hey, is it your first time here? Yeah, it actually is. Safari Zone has four zones in it. Each zone has different kinds of Pokemon. Use Safari Balls to catch them. So, I mean, that would be good in a regular playthrough. But since everything is randomized, the zones really have no bearing on what we'll find. Uh, yeah, let's do it for 500 Poke Dollars. We're going to be able to catch a Pokemon here with the Safari Balls. I mean, hopefully we will. That is the goal, at least. But catching Pokemon in Safari Zone is kind of like hard to do not gonna lie i'm catching pokemon to take home as gifts where did my boyfriend eric go oh is that the one that's uh outside i forgot i didn't catch his name but it might be eric okay so i forget the route to go through the safari zone properly but i am going to try and do this in one shot if at all possible and this is our encounter for the safari zone it's a Marowak. I don't think we already have one of those. I'm going to bait it. So that makes it want to stay more, I believe. You missed the Pokemon. Dude. Wow. I don't think I'm getting lucky. Rock. So I think the rock makes it more easy to catch, but it makes it want to run away more. Hmm. Let's just try to throw some balls at it. Hmm. There's not much we can do here. So, Marowak is angry and ran. Okay. Well, we missed our encounter. Hey, we're so good at this game, right? Waterstone? Cool. I don't believe there's anything else there. That's fucking frustrating, dude. I failed three encounters in this episode? Are you serious, dude? Wow. I'm pissed off about that. Team 48, what is that? Team 48 is... Lick. Not the best move, I'm going to be honest, but... 
I guess it could have its uses? Fresh water. Um... I have a feeling that we're not going to finish the Savari Zone in one trip with the way I'm bouncing into walls and taking the wrong paths. Carbos, that's good. And I am checking these houses. How many did you catch? I'm bushed from the work. I'm so friggin' pissed that we... Uh, we... Hmm. That's three encounters that we fucked up? Are you serious, dude? I'm just flabbergasted. Uh, it's fine, I'll get over it. It's just frustrating at the moment. Uh, and these R box are so annoying. Like, dude, get out of my face. Trainer tips the remaining time declines only while you walk. Okay. We've been new. But this is the third zone, and we have a little over half our steps. So we're doing okay, I think. Pretty sure we have to come up here. And we're probably missing items, to be honest, doing it this way. But I don't really care too much. What's the path? What's the path? Where is it? Oh, I fucked up. Is this not the path? Oh, shoot. Shoot. We wasted a lot of steps doing that. Frick! Yeah, I think that messed up. I think that messed me up. I don't think we're gonna get it anymore. Freaking Pokemon! Get out of my face! I'm an artist! I look like a blueberry! <laughs> Girl, I didn't mean to throw a rock at you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know I made fun of it, but I promise I wasn't trying to throw a rock. Okay. Ooh, only 132 steps left. That's not good. Is there nothing here? What the fuck? Game! You debated me. Oh my god. Where do we go? I don't even know. Oh my god, slowpoke. So cute. I would use a slowpoke if we didn't already have water types and psychic types. Ivysaur! We caught you back in episode one! Cutie. I didn't mean to bait you! Oh my god, I was trying to throw the rock. Uh, I mean, not the rock. I was trying to run! God, I can't say words. Okay. We messed up pretty bad. I think I'm gonna have to come back to the Safari Zone. Trainer tips. Zone exploration campaign. The search for the secret house. We made it here. I think this is the end. But we literally... No more room for items. Freaking game! Can I just... Oh my god, it's too important to toss! Even though it's literally outdated. <sighs> I'm pissed. I have to toss the fresh water. It's okay to toss it. I mean, yes, it is, because I have to. For a friggin' X speed, oh my god. It doesn't even tell you what the item is before you friggin' throw it away. Okay, I'm, hmm, Gen 1. Friggin' Gen 1. Why? I, hmm, I, hmm, hmm, I, I don't even know how I'm going to feel. I don't even know how I'm feeling. Russell. Just cut the damn shit out of this tree. Okay. I need to collect myself. Because Gen 1 friggin' makes me rage. God damn person, touch the tree! Oh my god. Dude, I I know you guys can't see my control stick, but I was holding down and my character was not moving. And I don't think that's a Gen 1 thing. I think that's my controller just being a bitch. But like... Mm. I take a lot of issue with Gen 1 and the game mechanics, and I know I'm taking it out because I've been getting bad luck this episode, and it was bound to happen. I've been having good luck for a lot of the series, and I've been doing good for a lot of the series. We still haven't had a death, thank god, but <laughs> I, hmm, this game sometimes really 
pisses me off. Not deposit, I want to withdraw, I need my boy, I need my boy Chula back. Ah, god, like, Gen 1, it did not age well, it really didn't, and I love Pokemon, but Gen 1 did not age well. It's a good game, but damn. Let's cut again, please. And let's try this again, I guess. Wasting 500 more dollars for this stupid shitty attraction that's required to beat the game. Mind you, this is not optional. We actually have to do this shit. Okay. Let's not bother with the house. Let's just go straight through. We're gonna run away from everything. Hey, it's a Pidgey. Probably would have been able to catch that. Pfft. Fucking Pidgey. Looking at me with his stupid fucking face. Uh, I shouldn't be taking it out on the Pokemon. They didn't do anything. It's my own rage that has led to this moment. Godin, 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 Godin. I didn't mean to throw a ball. No, don't catch it, don't catch it, don't catch it, don't catch it. Thank you. That was an accident. Oh my god. And that's the other thing. I keep misclicking. My dumbass keeps pressing buttons when I'm not even friggin' looking at the screen properly. I'm like trying to talk seductively into my mic like, Good in, good in, good in. Bitch, play the damn game. And I'm saying that to myself. If that wasn't obvious. Jesus. Did I take the wrong turn again? I think I did. No, actually we're fine. We're just gonna go the most direct route possible, avoiding everything else. This is one of those mazes where you only have 500 steps and if you take a few wrong turns then you're already screwed because even if you do the rest of the maze perfect you only have 500 steps and you already wasted them on mistakes. It's a wheezing! Uh, yay, it's a wheezing! <laughs> Frick! Wrong turn! I would describe the Savari Zone as a hot mess. I have never liked Safari Zones in these games. Is this the wrong thing again? Yeah, it is. I forgot briefly, but yeah, that was the wrong thing. And we have to head up, which I also forgot. This, yeah, Safari Zones and Pokemon are a hot mess. They actively make your chances of catching Pokemon even more RNG-based than they already are. They frustrate players who are trying to do nuzlocks because they basically make your chances of catching a pokemon here like very low it's just not a good it's not a good system honestly just pisses me off okay i see a house i see a house i see a house and i forgot to do inventory management when i was back at the pokemon center Rest house. Is this it? Did we do it? I think we made it. Might make them run, but they'll be easier to catch. Okay, we already knew that for the rocks. I hacked a lot, but I didn't see any Pokemon I wanted. Using bake will make Pokemon easier to catch. Fuck, this isn't the house I wanted. I thought this was the house. Oh my god, am I gonna screw this up again? Hey, Lord Helix, how you doing, buddy? We're gonna run away from you. Sorry, dude. Uh, is it here? No, that's a friggin' dead end! Dude! Uh, don't make me do the Safari Zone again. You better not, dude. I will throw a hissy fit. Shit! That's another dead end! Is this whole area a dead end? What the frick? Is it up? Is this the way? Is this it? Do I have to go around this way, or is this also a dead end? Okay, it's making me go around. Execute, hi, I have your evolution already. Nice to see you though, and your big ass eggs. That sprite is a hot mess in Gen 1. I'm getting put in a circle. What the? I have 35 steps left. I don't know the route to this maze. I don't know the path. 
TM24, what the fuck is it? What is it? Just tell me. Twin Needle. That's actually a good move. That's actually a good move. It's a bug type move, which is good in this game. Okay, well, we're gonna have to move around anyways. No more room for items! Oh my god! Fuck game! This bullshit game and their stupid item cap! I'm gonna get rid of the water stone because we can buy them at the friggin' Cerulean. Not Cerulean, Celadon. Oh my god, it's a super potion. Watch, ready for the ding? It's gonna happen right now. <laughs> fucking game. Bullshit fucking game. Did you get a good haul? Condescending piece of shit. No, I didn't, actually. I didn't get a good haul. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry for raging. I'm sorry for cussing a lot. I'm sorry for being pissed off. I know that that's probably not fun to watch, and I know that it's annoying, but I'm in my feels. This game has pissed me off on this day. I don't know the layout to the Safari Zone because I don't play Gen 1 enough. So... Gotta go back in the mains in the next one because honestly, I'm pissed off. Uh, and I need to collect myself and I need to do some item consolidation and I need to do some research. So... You know, I do apologize again for like being a sourpuss, but sometimes games just hit you in the chest and you want to fight back. And I think that's one of these moments. So, all well, that said, I'm going to collect myself and hopefully next time we will be able to do the Safari Zone and maybe take on the fifth gem leader. I, I hope that we can, truly. And I hope I can redeem myself moving forward. Because I have played um, not very well this episode, to be honest with you. So, that's, that's gonna be it for this time. If you did enjoy this video at all, please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing, as it would greatly help out the channel. And with all that said, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye now.